Hey everyone, Ken Surfs here and it's time for another shave video. Well, it's Monday and I had a package arrive on the weekend from the good folks at Frank Shaving. You've probably seen me do videos in the past with uh, some brushes from Frank Shaving, but two new brushes arrived this weekend and they are just pretty awesome. Look at that. This one is really unique. This handle I have not seen before. It almost looks like a Christmas ornament. And it's badger, but there was no literature included in the package. I've looked on uh, their site and I cannot see this handle yet. So these must be new handles about to come out. This one though, really intrigued me the most. Looks like about a 24 millimeter and it's either a two band or a finest badger brush. I am gonna be trying this one out today. And it's got a little bit of the animal smell as most brand new badgers do. So we're gonna put it in the crystal skull for a few minutes to soak. And I might, I might smell that a little stronger when I'm gonna lather up. Now, the shave cream today comes by request. I believe this one's from Australia. Let me double check. Dun, 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 manufactured in uh, South, no, is it Southampton? Industrial Park, Southampton. Oh, it's imported into the United States, but it's made in Australia, thought so. Uppercut. This is the one that came without the lid. Fortunately, it was sealed. So I'm gonna be trying some uppercut shave cream for the first time today. I'm gonna to use the Van Ule uh, shave bowl. It's quick, it's handy, it's a good travel bowl. It should whip up a good lather. And I'm gonna go with uh, another one of my favorite aftershaves today, Polo Blue. Oh man, I really love this stuff. I'm gonna use one of my go-to razors, the uh, 34G. I've had that one for a while. Really like that, nice two-piece. It's basically the 34C, but in gold. Joe from Queens, I watched his video when he went into Pasteur's Pharmacy in New York, and he bought one of these, and uh, uh, it's an influencer. He's an influencer, because I ended up going buying it, and it's become one of my favorites. The blade today that I've got loaded in there is the Pole Silver Super Iridium. Iridium, Iridium blade. So we're gonna be using the pole silver in there and I already have this loaded. So let's get started and see how this soap does. Almost a blooper there. All right, let's wet the face. If I had to script this show, I would probably blow it. I'm just ad-libbing as we go along. Once you start rehearsing and try to do lines, it just doesn't work. Have to practice a lot. All right, I'm gonna open up this. And again, this came by request. I ended up purchasing it off uh, eBay. I get most of my uh, most of my items, my shave items, off eBay. So we'll put some uh, soap in there, just a bit. Not bad. So I've had some brushes that just you know, really smell like a wet animal when you use it for the first time until you get several, you know, shaves with it and then the soap. The soap will absorb that smell and wash it out. But if you want a badger brush, you're gonna have to put up with that one. Horse is the worst. That seems to, uh, horse hairbrush really seems to carry a smell for, for a while. Very barbershop scent to that soap. And I think a lot of you have used this soap before, but for me, it's the first time. Very slick. The brush made quick haste of that. A tube would be good if you're traveling, very convenient. How many fluid ounces? 3.38, that's probably travel side. TSA will probably allow that. 
on the plane. All right. First time using the uh, soap. Seems very slick. I'm turning it. before rinsing it. I have to go to the dermatologist this week for a, I guess it's about a six month checkup. So they're probably gonna do some burns on my skin. So I'm gonna probably have a difficult time doing a shave. Hopefully not though. You have English skin, you move to Southern California, you're gonna get freckles and you're gonna get sunburned. dissolving a little bit, the soap that is. But it's retaining its slickness. Soap in the ear? Yeah, I see it. It's my trademark. Blade's working good. Good combo with this razor, but really this razor, this mild razor. Medium aggressiveness, I would say. Very mild to medium. Very easy to obtain, very quick. Amazon, a lot of the shave companies have it. I'm kind of surprised this new brush doesn't shed. Usually you get a new brush and you may see some shedding for the first few uses. I did not see a hair yet. Ah, one hair. All right. She shed a hair. All right. Now I feel good. <laughs> yeah, this is just the classic barbershop scent to me. Look at that. Brush. It loaded up. Those badgers and those Frank shaving brushes. Man, they hold the soap. <laughs> they hold the lather. Oh, wristwatch check. Got the uh, Voskhod Komandersky on there. So uh, I've been wearing this for a few days to see how good time it keeps. And so far, it's pretty darn good. Someone commented in the unboxing video of that watch that if I was using the R41 carelessly and bled all over the place and I was wearing this watch, nobody would notice because it would blend right in. <laughs> True. True. I'm going to be taking three weeks off work starting next weekend, so I should be able to get a few more shave videos out than I have been. I want to do a few more James Bond tribute shaves to some of the cool James Bond movies that are out there. This next one's going to be a Roger Moore. Okay, the soap is dissolving. Oh, good. I opened up that old wound. The soap is dissolving, but it appears to be doing an okay job. See, she's dissolving. Might have had too much water in it. But 
but I knocked it down. And in my opinion, if I can get a shave without a lot of nicks, smooth shave, no trouble, it's a good shave. Now I should be leaving no soap in my ears after the shave. But hell, when I'm lathering all the way up to my sideburns, and it's hard for me to see, this camera is blocking the mirror. That's why you notice me keep looking at the camera. I'm looking in the camera instead of the mirror to see what I might have missed. Uh, 10 after 5, the wife should be coming home pretty quick. Probably some Christmas shopping. It's getting close. Tis the season. All right. Polo blue. Uh, anticipating this. Yeah. Very nice burn. Very nice burn. Oh. Now the polo blue aftershave. The green, the blue, the red. I have the green, the blue, the red, and uh, the dark obsession. Well, that's not polo. Seems to last maybe an hour or so, but the uh, cologne or the eau du toilet, that lasts a lot longer. So uh, it's nice to have that pairing that's set, the aftershave, and then you can hit it later if you're going out on a date or anything. There we go. Well, thank you to the good folks at Frank Shaving. I appreciate giving the opportunity to try the brushes. I'm sorry I don't have the specifics for these brushes. They came without any specifics. And I did look at the website, and they must be so new that uh, I did not see them on the site yet as of this evening. So if you gents see it, please, in the comments, let me know. I'd appreciate that. Then I'll update the... Uh, the uh, description or the details with some of those uh, specific links. All right, everybody. Thank you very much for watching. You have a good week. Monday is over. Four days to go. All right, everyone. Have a great night. It's Ken Sirs. We'll see you next time.